Hey everyone, in this video we are talking about the cosine ratio. And use the cosine ratio when you're doing trigonometry if you have a triangle that has a right angle in it. And maybe you're being asked to find the adjacent side or the hypotenuse or something like that. So if you remember our rhyme, so katoa, cos of theta equals the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. So to find the hypotenuse, think about your 90 degree angle as an arrow pointing at the hypotenuse. And let's say we're talking about that as theta. The adjacent side will be the side right next to it. A side can't be hypotenuse and adjacent, or opposite and adjacent at the same time. This angle is surrounded by two sides. We know that one's the hypotenuse, so that means this one has to be the adjacent. That would be opposite, but we're not really going to use it, so it doesn't really matter. And let's say that we know theta equals 51 degrees, and the hypotenuse equals 6, and we're being asked to find the adjacent side. All I need to do Think about my ratio from Sokotoa and plug in everything that I know. Cos of theta, I know theta is equal to 51 degrees. And I know that equals to the adjacent side, which I don't know, over the hypotenuse, which I know is 6. To get rid of this 6, all I need to do is multiply by 6. And those will cancel out. Do the same thing to the other side. And I'll get adjacent equals to 6 times cosine of 51. So, cos of 51 is just going to be some decimal number. So, all I need to do is, you need to make sure your calculator is in degree mode. I don't know if you can see that, but on my calculator it says DEG in tiny little letters. So, all I'm going to do is type in cos 51 on my calculator and see what decimal I get. So I get about 0.63. So I'll say 6 times 0.63 equals the length of the adjacent side. I'll take that number, multiply it by 6, and I'll get 3 point, let's say it's 3.8, equals my adjacent side. Go back and have a look at your triangle. We know that the hypotenuse has to be the longest side. It's 3.8, a smaller number than 6. Yeah, so we can feel pretty confident that we're getting the right answer. Let's say that the hypotenuse is equal to 17, theta is equal to 36, and we are being asked to find, and let's say the hypotenuse is the unknown this time, and let's say, let's let adjacent be 17 and we'll solve for the hypotenuse this time. Same formula, cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Fill in everything that you know. We know that theta equals 36 degrees, and we know that our adjacent is 17 divided by the hypotenuse. Cos of 36 is the same as cos of 36 over 1, and we can use cross multiplication to figure out what the hypotenuse is. So you just multiply the two numbers on the diagonal, 1 times 17, and then divide by what's left over, cos 36, and that'll equal to your unknown. 1 times 17 is just 17, divided by, on my calculator, I will just type in cos 36, and I'll get about 0.8 equals h, and I'll go 17 divided by 0 0.8, and I'll get 21.25. So we know the hypotenuse is the longest side. Is it longer than the adjacent side of 17? Yep, it's longer, so our answer kind of seems reasonable. So what you might have noticed when we're doing these questions, we're just using cos. That's different than cos to the negative 1. Let's do an example where you might use cos to the negative 1. Let's say you have a triangle like that, and you're given 
first let's think about our sides. That points to the hypotenuse. Let's say it's this theta we're trying to find, the angles in that little corner. So the opposite will be this side, and the adjacent will be that side. Cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Let's say our adjacent is equal to 5 centimeters and our hypotenuse is equal to 15 centimeters and we are trying to find out what the degrees are in that little corner of our triangle. So same formula, plug in everything you know. Cos of theta, well I don't know what theta is, but I do know I'm using cos. Adjacent is equal to 5 centimeters divided by hypotenuse is 15 centimeters. I'm just going to go 5 divided by 15 and I get that cos theta is equal to 0 0.3 repeating. So it's 0 0.3333 forever. So theta is not equal to 0 0.333 degrees. We need to separate the cos from the symbol theta. To do that, this is like cos over 1. If we multiplied by the reciprocal of that, 1 over cos, those will cancel out. If I do it to one side, you have to do it to the other. So I'll get theta equals 0 0.3 repeating times 1 over cos. Well, let's think about going back to the algebra unit. We know that negative exponents mean 1 over. So we can think of cos to the negative 1 as being equal to 1 over cos. So we'll get theta equals, I'm just going to replace that with this and write it down ahead of the, the re-repeating. Cos negative 1 is 0 0.3 repeating, it's not a very good bracket. And then all I need to do on my calculator is go second function cos, 0. 3, I'll do a few, and I'll get 70.5, so we'll call that theta equals 71 degrees.